to you. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Today we have close to 100 people who are joining us right now for the Vidal Open House. So the Vidal development is a development that I have been eagerly anticipating as a resident agent in District 21 myself. This is a development that is well-placed, well-located in the foothills of Bukit Timah, close to nature, and that is still well-connected to the expressways, the AYEPIE, as well as BKE, as well as to the transport networks. Moving forward, I'll be sharing with you more about this development and what is so exciting about it. So stay tuned, and as we first watch a video, that is provided by the developer. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Vidal. So Vidal is located in the foothills of Bukit Timah. So it is well located, it's being surrounded with, towards the north, the Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. And towards the northwest, we have the Bukit Batok Nature Park. It is also well connected with strong transport networks, such as the buses, the bus network, and the expressway network. Moving forward, we will also have the Beauty World Integrated Transport Hub coming in that will help to increase the convenience of this location manifold. As we go along, I will be sharing more about the transformation, the developments that are coming up in this area and what makes this such an attractive development if you are looking for own stay or for investment. So if you look at the Verdale location, we are actually surrounded in a private and exclusive enclave. Why do I say that? If you notice, the locations that are highlighted in pink, these are actually landed enclaves. So this is area where we have our low-rise landed houses. And we also have in blue, the private enclave. So these are actually all the condominiums and most of them are actually low-rise, five stories to maximum about 10 stories. So low-rise developments as well. But more importantly, and something that cannot be changed, is actually the nature reserves that surround us. Because towards the north, Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, one of the pristine rainforests in Singapore. We also have the Bukit Batok Nature Reserve, also a very nice nature reserve, uh, which is also a very 
nice park for you to bring young families to. And we also have got other forested areas that are not re nature reserves, but which help contribute to the fresh air you get to enjoy every morning. And that is why Vidal has come up with a forest bathing concept because of its proximity and its location within nature surroundings. So, what are some of the potential views that you can get at Verdil? Towards the northwest, this is where we'll be looking out towards the Bukit Batok Nature Reserve. So this will be a little hill with, which is full of trees as well. And to the north, of course, the most famous Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. We also have got some forested areas just in front of our development ahead of that. So if you're on the lower floors, you'll have these forested views and towards the higher floors, or towards the sky terrace, you have a view <coughs> outwards towards Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. So, if you look at the developments that are happening in the Bukit Timah area based on the 2019 master plan, what you'll notice is this. Out of seven developments in the Bukit Timah region, six of them are located in the Beauty World area. Which means what? Which means as a resident at Verdil, as someone who comes in early, you get to benefit from six different transformations, six different developments such as the Bukit Timah Fire Station, such as the Beauty World Integrated Transport Hub, such as the new Bukit Timah Community Building, which is replace the existing current community centre. These are all things that you get to enjoy. In fact, right now I'll be sharing with you what I call the GIC transformation. So what is GIC? GIC to me, it stands for G, Greenery. I, infrastructure, C, commercial, the GIC transformation of Bukit Timah. So in terms of greenery, what do we have? We have our upcoming rail corridor. This is actually a stretch that is under development right now. In fact, parts of it have already been completed. This right here is a stretch that is just in front of Rifle Range Road. And this rail corridor, it links all the way from Tanjong Paga in the south upwards towards woodlands in the north and at the center at the heart of it it is the Bukit Timah railway station just about 15 minutes walk from Verdil. We also will have along this stretch the Bukit Timah fire station and this fire station this fire station will also be a hub that is being redeveloped. So a little bit more about what is happening in the Bukit Timah area, we actually have a greenery transformation that is happening. So right here, we actually will have a sky park that links in the first phase from the King Albert Park area onwards towards Botanic Gardens. In later phases, what will happen is this will link all the way towards Gardens by the Way on one side and towards the other side, towards Jurong Lake Gardens. So a whole greenery corridor linking all three of our national parks. So you may be asking, Jeremy, why are you talking about greenery? What, does it, what impact does it have for property values? And that's why we did some research and what we found was this. Every time there is enhancement of greenery, there is also an increase in property value. And Singaporeans, am I right to say, what we are after is actually the increase in property value. We want the increase and that is a result of the greenery. Because moving forward, more and more developments will be close to MRT stations, more and more developments will be very, very well connected. But what is getting increasingly rare is the access to greenery, which is something that we'll get to enjoy right here at Verdil. Next, at the Bukit Timah Fire Station, this is where we'll have a rejuvenation of this fire station to become the Dempsey of Bukit Timah. And what do we have? We already have um, outlets like Spruce, we will also have more outlets coming in that will really rejuvenate this area. It will be something to look forward to. And for the Bukit Timah Fire Station, this is something that is just behind us at Verdil. Right now, Beauty World Bukit Timah, this is a property hotspot in Singapore. In July especially, we saw a lot of transactions happening in the Beauty World area. And why? One of the key drivers of this is the Integrated Transport Hub. So you may, may be asking, what is an Integrated Transport Hub? Basically, 
it is an MRT station, plus a bus interchange, plus a shopping mall, plus residences on top. Can you imagine what will happen to property prices when an integrated transport hub like this comes into the area? Right, so we talk about pricing of property increasing, and that is what happens when there is transformation, such as an integrated transport hub. Another thing that's a little bit under the radar, and that is coming up, is actually the Cross Island Line. So this Cross Island Line was actually announced halfway from the Changi area until Bright Hill, and then they stopped there because they were deciding whether to cut through McRitchie Reservoir or to go one round around it. So right now, they have decided to cut through McRitchie Reservoir. And why am I talking about this? It's because last year, if you remember what happened, property prices, property transactions in the Serangoon North and the Haugang areas, they had a boom. Why? Because of this new MRT line. And right now, what we don't know yet that is happening soon will be where this Bukit Timah interchange will be. But the way I see it, there are probably only two locations where it could be. Either it happens at the Beauty World Integrated Hub, where there is already the integrated hub where, where, there is going, where there could be more transformation, or perhaps it could also happen at the King Albert Park area, where there is some green space, where there's some uh, land available for this development. But either way, whichever way it happens, I think we are winners both ways. Why do I say that? Because it's a little bit like Jurong East and Clementi, a little bit like Somerset and Orchard Road. If there's a development in one of them, am I right to say that the other one also benefits? And that's what we are after, the transformation effect that a new development will bring. Next, another thing that is also very hidden, which is also quite near to us, is actually the new Hume MRT station. So the Hume MRT station was actually due for completion some way down the road in 2025. But what happened in June was this. In end June, they actually came out to say that this railway line, this railway station, MRT station, could be done as early as end 2021, ahead of schedule. Why? Because what they have done is they have already provided the shell station. Most of it is in place. All they have to do is to fit out the interiors. And that is why, potentially, as soon as you move into the deal, as soon as it's ready, as soon as it's completed, there may be another MRT station just walking distance from you at the Hume MRT station, which is diagonally across the Bukit Timah fire station. Next, and finally, let's talk about the commercial development. This is again the integrated transport hub, 33,000 square meters of land. So in terms of size, it's, it may be hard to imagine what is 33,000 square meters. And this is why we did a little bit of research and we found that this space is similar in size to the Jurong Point Integrated Hub, where there's also a bus interchange, where there's also a shopping mall, and there, where there's also residences on top. So similar land size to Jurong Point. Imagine Jurong Point coming into Beauty World. What that would do for the convenience of residents over here. So that is why this site, which is under the dual envelope scheme, is said to be a catalyst for the beauty world area's rejuvenation. And with this rejuvenation, am I right to say that is where the transformation in property prices will come in? And that's what we are after, aren't we? So right now, let's take a look at Verdil. Let's take a look at what makes this development so exciting. So if you're familiar with developments in the Beauty World District 21 area, what you'll notice is for many of them, they don't have too great of a block-to-block -block distance. But in Verdil, this development is designed for views. Why do I say that? Firstly, if you look at our block-to-block -block distance, the minimum distance is probably about 35 meters across the pool. And in the opposite direction, we actually have a full more than 100 meters of space, of block-to-block -block distance, where our facilities will be. So if you are biased or you are looking for a unit that has good unblocked distances, then Verdil could be a development for you. In addition to this, what other views do we have? Towards the northwest, 
we actually have the Bukit Batok Nature Park view, which is the forested area we saw at the start of this sharing session. Towards the north, we also have the Bukit Timah and the forest views. Towards the east, we have the Mandarin Park landed views. And towards the south, we have Charisma view. So Charisma view is actually another development. Right, so these are some of the views that we'll have. Right now, let us take a look at the virtual show flat to see what it's like in the Verdell show gallery. So if you notice, our show gallery is done up very tastefully. This is the marble countertop that is done up, very nicely done up, very tastefully done up with green and black marble. Right, and as we step in, this is the model that we will see right here. So coming home to Verdil, what do we have? We are actually located along the Souza Avenue. So as you are coming home, you actually um, angle upwards. And this is the grand porch, the grand arrival portal that you'll come home to. So this, am I right to say, this reminds you of a, a little bit like, like a luxury resort where you're coming home to a grand port cochere. And if you look behind it, that's actually our courtyard area where there's actually pool facilities as well. Right, so this is what it looks like. We will also, towards, let's hit one round around. We will also have on top of blocks two and block six, what we will have is actually our sky gardens. So let me head towards the center. And our sky gardens look like this, right, where to the north, which is over here, we look out towards the Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. And to the south, this is where we will have some cooking facilities. And you look out to the 100 plus meters of the pool facilities. All right, so this is what we will have looking out towards the north. All right, so if you notice, it's a five story development, a low rise development, an exclusive development. All right, this is actually my favorite area the views that are looking east, the units that are facing east. So for units that are facing east, what we have. Right, so stack 12 is over here. Stack 12 is our three bedder show flat layout. We'll take a look at that in a short while. We will also have our firefly gardens at the bottom. This is like a garden which has a little bit of light. So you have a little sparkly effect when you come home. And my favorite portion is actually this, our wellness section. Where this wellness section, what we will have is actually spa pavilions, massage pavilions. And we'll actually have pools as well, where you can go in 90 cm deep and just relax after a long day's work. So these are some of the views that we'll have. Of course, these are also landed facing towards the Mandarin Park area. And towards the pool, towards the center of the development, this is where we'll have more than 100 meters of block to block distance. I want to highlight the gastronomy room. For the gastronomy room, this is actually our function room. And on one side, you'll look out towards the cascading waterfalls and to the other side you actually look out towards our 100 plus meters of full pool view right so that will be our gastronomy room i will also point out our forest bathing pots which are right here so these forest bathing pots are actually places where you can come home and just relax you can just relax soak in the sights and sounds the nature is at Verdil. right? So that is something that is very unique that you don't get in many other developments in Singapore, especially in the current climate where a lot of them are very highly built up. But that's something you get to enjoy in Verdil. So right here, next we'll touch a little bit on the accessibility of Verdil, where we actually have got a side gate coming out. This side gate links us to the bus stop and from this covered walkway to the side, to the bus stop will take us towards town, towards anywhere you want to go to in Singapore, whether in the east, whether in, in the central of Singapore. And finally, right here, these are our Bukit Batok Nature Reserve views, right? So some of them, one of the units that I'd like to highlight will actually be our three bedders. These are our compact three bedders, 947 square feet. We have a proper enclosed kitchen and we'll go into our layouts in a little bit more detail. If you want more details of our floor plans and layouts for the full set of them, reach out to our PropNex salespersons and they'll be very happy to share with you these floor plans. So 
let us now head back to our slide decks. Okay. So, Vadil, in the evening, this is what you'll be coming home to. Can you imagine living in a home just like this? All right. So with Vadil, we also have at our ground floors high ceiling units. So these high ceiling units are about 4.9 meters, right? So you actually get a double volume ceiling that is not included in your floor area. In fact, for our fifth floor units, they are also unique because uh, a lot of times when there is a fifth floor unit, it's actually a double volume ceiling as well. And sometimes this is included in your floor area. But at Verdale, we actually have got typical ceiling heights for our fifth floor units. So this is a little bit more about what our master room would look like in our four bedder. There's the patio unit. And next, our penthouse units. So our penthouse units, these or the top floor units, they will also be a typical ceiling height. And for the penthouse units, these are actually where you will have a double story duplex penthouse. So either a four bedder or a five bedder duplex penthouse. So how do you identify it? Wherever there is a pitched roof, which is an angled roof like that, that will be one of our four or five bedder duplex penthouses. So for Vidal, this is a development that is designed and built by Coley as well as CSC Land Group. So you might be wondering who this, this is. And for Coley and CSC, these are actually one of the world's largest investment and construction conglomerates. In fact, this is actually from uh, China Construction, which is a Fortune 500 company and not just a Fortune 500 company, but it's the top 18 in the whole world. That's the size of construction conglomerate you're coming in, right? In fact, if you look at it, one in 25 people living in Singapore, they live in a development that is built by CSC, right? So some of the previous projects, a lot of them are landmarks. For example, Boulevard View, where the penthouse is going for about 50 plus million, Botanic at Bartley, Silver Sea, all very prominent developments, Cyan, Lake Grande, recent developments, even public housing is also built by CCDC, right? Some of the other developments that they have built, recent ones, such as Guoco Midtown, which is part of the Bugis rejuvenation. We also have the Sengkang Central area, which is a new mixed development that is coming up in the Bangkok area, right? So infrastructure work such as the Canberra Station, the new MRT stations in Cantonment and Capo, right, as well as some other works. So this is a large-scale developer. This is a large-scale construction firm where quality is of foremost importance. So a little bit more about Vidal, about this development. Vidal is located in District 21 in the Upper Bukitima region. Our address is along the Suza Avenue, right? So we have seven blocks and we have a total of 258 units. So 258 units, we have everything from one bedders to our five bedder duplex penthouses. In terms of the finishes, we have selected luxurious finishes, probably some of the best finishes that you can get because in most developments today, am I right to say most developers are now going for finishes such as porcelain tiles or vinyl flooring as well as engineered timber. But at Vidal, what we have gone for is for every single unit from our smallest one bedder to our largest five bedder duplex penthouse, we all will be coming with desert beige marble. That's right, marble flooring for every single unit. And this is not compressed marble, mind you. This is the natural, the real stuff, polished natural marble. Next, for the rooms, we'll be actually coming in with American walnut for our rooms. So this will be a natural timber as well. As it, when it comes to the appliances, we are coming with Dietrich, which is a French brand. And if you're familiar, Dietrich is actually the inventor of induction cookers. So that's what we are coming in with. Dietrich is normally found in the higher end developments located in the CCR, which is the core central region. We will also be having our sanitary ware provided by Vilroy and Bock. Vera & Bock is a German brand, a, a European brand as well, which does very high-end porcelain ware, right? So if you're familiar with them, they actually do very high-end porcelain ware. And we'll also have things like um, 
uh, wine chillers for some units and grow hay uh, shower units for the rest of them. Right, so this is for finishers. In terms of our unit mix, you'll notice that uh, we have a, quite a wide spread of unit types, but the vast majority of them, they will actually be what? They'll actually be our two bedrooms, right? 57%, and that's followed by our three bedrooms, right? So what are some of the layouts that you will find in a two bedroom layout? For our two bedroom layouts, this is actually our two bedroom uh, with one bath. And for our two bedroom with one bath, this is very attractively priced, starting from under a million dollars for a layout like this, 614 square feet. In fact, if you look at our surroundings, most of our surrounding projects, if you are have, looking at a two bed, one bath, you are coming in at a 1.1 million range, right? So if you're coming into Verdale, you are coming in at 100K lower than your surrounding developments. And that is the value of the two bed, one bath that we have, right? In terms of our layout, instead of having a straight kitchen, which is on one side, we actually have got a parallel kitchen on either side which increases the work surfaces for the kitchen. We will also come with a standalone fridge, which means that moving forward, maintenance will be easier. We have also got a properly planned dining area, so you can have a proper dining table inside. And every single room, if it's a common room, you can fit a queen size bed. If it's a master room, you can fit a king size bed. Right, so that is our two bedroom layouts. Another layout that I want to touch on is actually our stack 31. This will probably be one of the value stacks in Verdil. If you're looking for a value option, then stack 31 could be a choice for you, 710 square feet. Again, we'll have a parallel kitchen, right? We also will have a window in the master bath, which is something you don't normally find nowadays. And our next layout would be this. This is one of the very common layouts that you'll find in Verdil, right? For this particular layout type, the B9 layout, we also have got an enclosed kitchen, right? We have a properly planned dining area. And what we will also have is our alcove storage. And this is something that I'll touch on in a short while. Because for Vidil, what we have done is to look at what has been provided in the typical development and see how we can improve it. And that is why at Vidil, we have come up with the four A's, which will redesign the storage and living experience in new launches. So, first of all, we are talking about the atelier. So the atelier is actually found in our four bedders. And what, you, what this atelier is, is actually an island counter that can be used for entertainment. It can be used as a bar counter for breakfast, or in the current climate, it could potentially be used as a work from home office space as well. Right? So, what we will have is the atelier and behind the atelier what we will also have is this the amadio amadio is actually something that that maximizes the space that is beside the window sill because usually this space is just wasted it's just over there but what we have done is to create a 400 mm space a 400 mm space which is exactly the size for appliances such as your rice cooker such as your coffee maker so that you can place your coffee maker and your rice cooker at a convenient location, plug it in and leave it there. You don't have to keep it every time you are done. Right? And the space underneath, this can also be your additional storage for your pots, pans, plates, and so on. So additional storage as well, which is found in the Amadio. We also have the alcove. So the alcove is actually where you normally find a DB box. So a DB box, normally one panel, right? Maybe to maximize it, some developers might put in a shoe rack. Over here, we also have a shoe rack, but what we will also have is the alcove because for the alcove, what it is done is it is used for display purposes. So you don't just have storage, you also have display purposes. And finally, the Amore. Amore is something that I love very much because this actually reclaims space that is normally a void area. So you are familiar outside the bathroom, sometimes there's a void area where piping as well as the M and E would go, right? This place is being reclaimed for the Amore, which is like a dresser. So it's a dressing table with a mirror and storage above and beneath. As you go along, I will show you what these details are like and why the Verdale developer has been so thoughtful in providing all of these. All right, to start off, here are some of the layouts that we have, starting with the one bedroom. 
So for our one bedder, what we have again is a parallel kitchen because most one bedders they only have a straight line kitchen. So there's there may be a limit to the amount of space you have for food preparation. But at Verdale is a parallel kitchen to maximize the space, and once again you also have a standalone fridge, which will make maintenance in the long run easier. Second thing I want to point out is the flexibility of the layouts. This is a little bit like the CCR developments that you will find in perhaps in the Marina Bay area where the panels can actually be slid inwards so that you will have more space, you can have a good wall-to-wall -wall distance, right? If you want to watch TV from your bed, for example. And at night, when you want to create your room, you just have to slide it close and you will have a proper room, right? The third thing I want to point out is the minimized size of the aircon latch. We have reduced the size of our aircon latch to the bare minimum so that you have minimal wasted space in this unit. And that's what I like, the thoughtful design that goes into play at Verdil. Next, this is actually our two-bedder layout. And this two-bedder layout is actually our show flat. This is exactly what you will see when you come to our Verdil show flat. Let me say once again that you need to come to experience the show flat for yourself because pictures do not do it justice. You need to see this for yourself. Right, so for the two better layout that we have, right, this is three stacks have this, and what you will have for this layout is this. I'll point out three things. Firstly, our kitchen is 6.6 .6 square meters, which means what? Which means that this would typically be the size of a three better kitchen in any other launch. But in Verdil, this is our two better size. Next, we will have the alcove and we will have the Amore. I will now show you the virtual tour of what our two bedder looks like. So coming in, we have our kitchen. So this is a wide kitchen. You have to come and see it because you might feel that the camera angle don't do it justice, right? In terms of finishes, what you have for the countertop is actually a satin finish for our quartz countertop. And for this quartz countertop, it's not just basic quartz, mind you. This is actually South Stone by Cosentina. So this is actually the branded, the Mercedes Benz, so to speak, of quartz. Right? And we notice behind our backsplash, this is large format porcelain tiles. Large format porcelain tiles for easy maintenance. So we are not using marble, which you can, which sometimes the oils can go in, but we are using porcelain tiles, so it's easy for you to clean. And if you notice, our storage above is all fully done up. There is storage above. The hood, hop, and oven is all provided. And our storage is above. And our standalone DD trick fridge. Right, so this will all be provided for you. Right here, we have our desert beige marble that you're taking a look at. Our desert beige marble. And let us now take a look at the living and dining area. So I love how the dining area is properly planned. You can even have a bench over here as well as sitting area. So four to six people is no issue in this unit. Right, our living space also properly designed. Right, and right here you will see the alcove. Right, so the alcove with double the storage, both sides, both panels will have storage. And we also have display shelves in the middle for you to put your personal items. So for example, your family photos, for example, the photos of a trip that you might soon be taking, that will be able to go into the alcove. Right, so for the rooms, all of the rooms in Verdale can fit a queen size bed. Right, so this is what it looks like. You can fit a queen size bed inside here. Right, come to our show flat and you'll get a better view of this. For our bathrooms wise, our bathroom wise, you have honed finish for the porcelain wall tiles, very nicely done up. And for our countertop, our vanity top rather, in our bathrooms, these will actually be done with glossy finish with, with quartz as well. So I love the vertical lines that you see in our storage cabinets. You'll notice that the mirrors that are used in Verdil, these are large format mirrors as well. So they have very seamless lines. All right, so next let's head on to the master room. For our master room, we can all have our king size bed inside. And right here, this is our armory. And for the armory, it comes with the lights, it comes with the storage at the top, it comes with the mirror that you see right here, it comes with the accessory drawers that you see. 
right? And right at the bottom, you have more space for accessories and the drawers in the middle, right? So I just want to point out some things as we scoot over to this side. This is what it looks like with a king size bed. A king size bed can go in with no issue. And we also have our <coughs> for our wardrobe, our master rooms have done in glass, satinated glass. So very nice finishes for the two bedders at Vadil. Next, let us head on to our next layout, which is our three bedder. For our three bedder, again for the master room, we also have satinated glass. <coughs> Let us take a look at what this will look like in the show unit. So for the Vidal 3 bedder show unit, this is found in stack 12, 1033 square feet. Coming in, you come into a 1.5 meter wide door. 1.5 meter wide. So it's one and a half leaves, a wide entrance coming in. So you have a very grand feeling coming home. Right? And for this layout, we actually have got windows in the foyer as well. So you have natural light coming in. Right, and for the kitchen, again, once again, it's quartz countertop. Right? I like how wide this is. You have to see it, to feel it. Come to our show flats. Arrange with your ProcNet salesperson to arrange a show flat visit this weekend. We are open this weekend from the 5th. Right, so this right here is the Amadio. The Amadio maximizes the storage that you'll have. This is where you can have your olive oil, you can have your rice cooker, you can have your Nespresso coffee machine. So for the utility and the yard area, this is where you can have potentially a helper's room inside as well as a helper's bath. And what I find is very thoughtful is that this area is naturally ventilated. Alright, so let's head back out to our living and dining areas. Right, so what I love is actually our dining area because for this dining area, what you will notice is the space that's available. In fact, this is two by two square meters uh, just for the dining area alone, right? So two by two meters, which means that you could even have a two meter wide dining table, a rectangular one, two meter wide, where you can sit six, seven people, uh, no issues at all, right? Perhaps even more than that, in fact, kind of thing of it, right? So that is what we'll have. Right, I love the center storage because it's not just two panels. Typical developments might have two panels, but here you have one, two, three, four. I think that's four. That's right. That's four panels. Four panels of storage. You have your DB box on one side. You have additional storage on the other. You have the alcove where there's display in the middle and you will have our Shurex or storage at the bottom. So every room in Vidal has a different concept. Over here, you will have a day bed as well as a study area concept and that is just one of the concepts that we have right as we go along you'll see more concepts please come to our show flat to see this in greater detail this is actually a kids room concept so if you have a child on the way right then Vidal could be a development where you can have a kids room just like this so for our three bedders the master room is very similar to what we saw at the two bedder so full king size bed satinated glass wardrobe and the Amore right so for the Amore what I'd like to highlight as well is that this is done up for you with the champagne gold finish for the switches so very nice very tastefully done up very thoughtful design all right so next this is our four better 1410 square feet 1410 square feet I love this layout because if you look at it it's very well designed the kitchen space that you see right here, our kitchen space is actually very similar to some of the developments that you'll find in the District 9 area. In fact, some of them, they are done in a way exactly like this, where you have the island counter and the space can be both a wet or a dry kitchen. Right, so let's take a look at the virtual tour to see what the four bedder looks like right now. Right, so for the four bedder, this is what you'll come home to. Right, so let's zoom in straight to the kitchen area right so for the kitchen area again we'll have the amadio right we will have the atelier so for the atelier it can be like this it can be a bar counter right so this angle is a bit awkward right so come to the show flat to take a better look right uh, where you can see the atelier in its full glory right so what i like is you have the full height ladder on one side you have your oven you have your wine chiller for the four bedder and a double door fridge a french door fridge right for the for this layout as well, you'll notice that 
we have the large format marble as well, uh, which is which makes for easy maintenance. So there's a proper back of house where you have a utility and yard area. So if a helper, this will be a utility and yard area for them, right? So this is where your laundry can be done. So popping out for full 5.6 meter across, this will be a full 5.6 meter across a landscape format, a landscape format for our living and dining areas. So we over here, this is our common bath. We'll have a common bath, right, for our four bedder, but we'll also have a master bath. So moving forward, we'll have a junior master as well. Right, so I won't go into all the rooms, come and see the show flat, come and see the show flat, but you can have a bed, you can have a study table over here, and in the next room, you have a full queen size bed, and our junior master, for the junior master, this is where you will have, right, a queen size bed and a junior master, which is not something you will find at all the developments in this area. Only those that are more than 1,400 um, square feet will have a junior master. Right, I like the master as well because for the master you don't just have a king size bed over here but you also have a space where you can have a lounge you could potentially have a massage chair over here and for the walk-in wardrobe we have our his and hers wardrobe right and if you notice this area towards the back we have our natural ventilation for the window right and on both sides it's naturally ventilated so naturally with cross ventilated for our four better layouts. So these are some of the video layouts. Next, I'll be sharing with you our five better plus study. Our five better plus study is actually above some of our four better layouts. And that is why if you notice one of the rooms over here is converted to a stairwell, right? Which links to our two rooms plus a study on the top floor. So if you have multi-generational living, this is a possibility for you, right? This will be, if you have, if you are looking for more space, this will be the unit for you. Very rare, 1873 square feet for the 5 plus study penthouse layout. Alright, we are coming to the end of today's presentation, so I would like to round up what we have discussed today. So for Vidal, what is so exciting about it? We are the best value development in District 21. So if you look at our surrounding developments, most of the one bedders start from 930,000. But in Verdil, our one bedder starts from 791,000. So about 140,000 of cost savings straight away when you enter into our units over here. So that's for our one bedders. For our two bedders, we are coming in for under a million dollars. Our nearest competitors, our nearest comparisons, would actually be coming in at about the 1.143 or the 1.165 range. But at Verdil, you're coming in at under a million dollars. Right, so that's for the two bedders, our two bedders with dumbbell layout. This is a development that is forest bathing team, which means that if you enjoy nature, you enjoy coming home to relaxing surroundings, which is away from the hustle and bustle of the main beauty world area then Verdil could be a development for you. Next, we have our generous layouts. We have our five bedder, 1873 square feet. We have our four bedders, 1410 square feet. So large and full size units for you. And we have our 4A space maximization. This is the pioneering development with our 4A space maximization. And moving forward, we might see more developments like this. But over here, this is where this was pioneered at Verdil. Right, so for Verdil, again, if you are keen, please come by this weekend to enjoy the show flat experience. This is a very bright, very naturally lit show flat experience. Right, so you must come in. It's a multi-sensory experience. Look at what they have done for the forest bathing wall. No expense has been spared. It is a very nice, very thoughtfully designed showroom. You must come here, see and touch, touch and feel the details that have been thought of, that have been done up in Verdil. Right, come and see the different kind of quartz finishes, the different kinds of finishes for even the porcelain tiles. Right, so for us, if you're keen, link up with a PropNet salesperson, you need to submit an LOA to secure a viewing. And the reason for that is very simple because of safe distancing. 
due to the current climate, we need to make sure that everyone who comes in has an appointment and that is why you need to indicate your expression of interest so that we can secure an exclusive viewing spot so you can view the show flat at your comfort and convenience without jostling with people. Right. So our show flat opens on 5th September. That is this weekend. Saturday, we are open. You are welcome to come and visit with an appointment. Right. And we will likely be launching in mid-September. Likely launching in mid-September. So this will be a development that we want to look out for. I personally am very excited. I feel that this is a development that is very nicely designed. It is a place you can call home. It is a place that you can come to if you are looking for two bedders and three bedders that are very attractively priced, uh, priced to meet your budget. All right, so I am coming to the end of my session. I'd like to thank you for um, being with us. And right now, uh, if there are any questions, I'll be happy to take some of them.